All right, it's time for another bit of roadside rocket science here. Let's get caught up from November 27th through December 3rd with a Starbase summary. Kicking it off with some work up on top of Booster 12. A shield to go across the worker's face there. We saw the Buckner LR11000 raising up that massive yellow crane. If you've been following along, it delightfully matches all of the pieces. Nice and yellow, very color coordinated. But we've been assembling or seeing that be assembled for the past few summaries. I feel like we should have a moment of respect for Ship 26. Parts of Ship 26 there having been scrapped, being taken out of Starbase on a flatbed truck. This was a weird one, a strange tube leaving the Star Factory. It's not any normal standard size. And look at the tooling, look at the transport for it, right? That is not the diameter of a starship, but it's way larger than a transfer tube or downcomer, depending on who you ask what you should call those things. So what's that going to be for? We'll see if it pops up anywhere else. Back in the Star Factory, a booster forward section was spotted. And look at this. All right, up at the top of the tower, see those sparks? There was no other work going on when this occurred in that very intermittent flashing almost looks like an electrical short of some sort. Was it an issue or was it somebody up there just sort of working on something and very visible from a distance? Not sure. But was interesting. We saw those unexpected sparks happening. Dirt work continuing over there at the launch site. This, of course, is pad B. We've seen them moving around dirt for quite some time, but look at the scale of that mound of dirt, how it goes all the way across the frame, and look at the little link belt excavator on the end there sitting up on top of the pile of dirt. It's a, that's a bunch of door, dirt that's moved around. A lot of excavators out there as well working on digging out what may be trenching for pipes or trenching for flames. I think in that case, that's still like the pipe trenching area, but we'll see. Once again, you see Mary's name down there in the corner, Boca Chica Gal, getting it from all different angles so we can keep an eye on what's going on. Also looking to get up in the air shortly. Jack was out for Thanksgiving, and we'll see if we can't do a flyover once everybody gets back in town. Part of the tank farm here, part of the water systems of the tank farm. Here's another shot. You continue to see them putting more pipes or work into those hippos there. The big condensers. Condensers? Recondensers? I mean, has it been condensed before? Are you recondensing it? It's like re-entry. Is it re-entry if you haven't entered in the first place? Anyways, problems for another day. You have all those raceways. This is sort of around the uh, filling area where the trucks back into. Maybe they're just leveling this off some or fixing the pavement, the concrete there, those big concrete pads that those trucks back into. Still would love to see a proper filling station, like a pull-through filling station to increase the throughput of these trucks. It's a bit of a mess there on Highway 4 because the bottom of this shot is Highway 4 where public cars are driving and the trucks sort of block everything as they back in and out of those spots. It's, it's not a very efficient design. Let's put it that way. It's not a rapidly refillable design. If you want it to be rapidly re reusable, you probably need it to be rapidly refillable as well. Beautiful wide shot there from Mary, and then zooming in to look at pad A. I love the battle damage scorch marks on the tower and the legs. Here's a great up-close view of the chopsticks. You may not see... Well, is this the side it was on? On the little steel Fig Newton catch pads up there? Is that where those antenna-looking things are, or was it the other side? Let's see if we get a picture of them a little bit later. Or just correct me down in the comments. I'm looking at it, and I'm like, hey, are they gone, or is it just the other angle? But we'll keep looking out for that. I, I really don't mind. Like, I'm sitting here just telling you what I see, and I think it's interesting to sort of talk through things, like the booster, booster quick disconnect here. A lot of work been happening around there. But if you have an idea about something, don't hesitate to tell me down in the comments. It's not like, oh, God, I, I can't be wrong. I have to say everything right. No, that's not what we're doing here. That's why it's roadside rocket science. Beachside here. I did see quite a few people saying that the uh, scaffolding around the top of the OLM there might just be for uh, worker safety, like acting as temporary guide rails or guardrails, really, uh, as folks walk around the top of the OLM there. Potentially true. Why wouldn't you put them on the edge of the sloped bit instead of the top? 
I don't know. Maybe it's just easier to put them around the top. It's smaller circumference, I guess, so you need less total. But anyways, I do read the comments on just about every video, and if you've got ideas, I read them, and sometimes I incorporate them into the next video. Kicking it all the way back to the assembly yard there, here are some uh, more scaffolding around the chopstick carriage for that second tower. They keep working on these, and it looks so nice and shiny as we zoom in and see the parts that aren't nice and shiny, the little weld. Uh, see, now those don't look like the weld reinforcement. That just looks like they've cleaned up a seam and maybe re-welded it or ground it down and just haven't repainted it or something. Anyways, some wooden structures moving around here. Oh, no, see, okay, y'all okay, can do this. I can't scroll back. But that's coming from the launch site side. So maybe this person missed the turn and went all the way to the launch site, then had to turn back around and come back this way. Uh, how similar are those to the structures that were supporting that mysterious mid-sized tube we saw at the beginning of the video? I'd have to scroll back and see, but I'll leave that as an exercise for the viewer to see if those are wooden structures, though. Are those similar to what we saw underneath that weird pipe? Maybe it wasn't supposed to go here. We're turning back around again. <laughs> Interesting. Also, the outsides are painted white, but the insides are not. What in tarnation is going on? Like, how... T oh, God, I almost want to read those labels as they go by. I guess that's going to head back to the uh, <laughs> launch site. Here's some SBMTs rolling out. Heading towards Massey's, a right turn out of the production site here. Heads towards Brownsville and Massey's on Highway 4. Got a little bit of a driving there. Or a little bit of a drive before they get to Massey's. Hey, and they're mowing. <laughs> they're mowing the right-of-way, really. Well, thank you. Uh, one of the big things is when you keep that high grass down, you can also keep the bugs down a little bit. Wintertime, the temperature's been lower, so not as big of a deal. But anyways, I, I appreciate seeing grass get mowed. Peeking into the second mega bay, there's a raceway getting installed on ship 34. Did I say 34? I think I got that right. Around the corner here, you can't quite see it, but you see the crane getting it into the right position and then tucking it around the side. Here comes a second raceway. Now see, is this the second part of the first raceway or is this the second raceway? Who knows? <laughs> you can tell me what you think down below. This is how my mind works. There's Mega Bay 2 door opening and here Ship 34 had been moved onto the center stand with that air quotes clean room, cleanish room, cleaner room on the bottom. The little pavilion, looks like you could get married in there, right? Like you go out to the pool at the hotel and it's got the little pavilion that's sort of like kind of plasticed in with a little decorative white trim. And you can like rent that out to have a wedding or whatever. I wonder if you could get married under a, <laughs> under a ship in the mega bay. Of course, if you're a regular, you know that this is a booster transport stand looking very well done here. Long gone are the days of the random, poorly welded and rusty bits that they use to move things around. It's actually tooling for regular operations now. This little single ring looks like it scooted all the way over to the scrapyard. Maybe they didn't make it or didn't need it anymore. But it looked like it was going over to get scrapped or at least out of the way. Here's some close-ups. See, that's not the regular pattern of the reinforcements on the, the seams there, right? It really does look like it's ground down because you've got the rusty brown part, but then you have a white part that's almost like the interior of the coating that's been scraped away, but not all the way down to bare metal. When you grind on something that's been painted or coated, that's sort of what it looks like. So it's like they went back after the fact and ground that off. View the production site. Water's been kind of high out there. A lot of times that bottom part will be totally dry, especially over the summer, but we've seen water pretty regularly there for the last couple of just months. So... Another cool wide shot from Mary here. You can see a lot of Mary in this video because she, uh, of course, lives there. Jack was out for Thanksgiving, went back uh, home to hang out with family and friends. So Mary 
massive thanks for holding down the fort over the holiday weekend here. It's the big cable pulley system. People will probably yell at me and say, she, this is in, it's all one big cable. Over there on Chopstick A? Chopsticks A? Chopsticks A.1 and A.2? Chopstick East A and East B? Whatever you want to call it. I think right and left is really what we want there. Working up on top of the chopsticks. So the elevator go up and down in the background there. This is where you want just a little higher. Like, what are they doing down there? All right. What, it's, what is going on here? <laughs> it's the new penthouse apartments under new management. Got some names on there. If you Google those names, you see the folks that work for SpaceX. But they've got the picture of the new OLM design there on the banner that has been unfurled. Wonder when we'll see that roll up the road so we can get a really good look at it. So here's what they did with that connector between the office building and the star factory. They put in a jaunty angle and made it a different color. Some white panels there to give it that futuristic forward-leaning look to the building as it leans towards the launch pads and the moon and Mars. Look, I made that up, but hey, I, I could see that on a presentation somewhere. Like, look at the active view of the building as it leans forward into the future. <laughs> Gonna leave it off with a sun rise. This would be a rise if we're looking out of the water. <laughs> My name's John. Some people know me as Das. Massive thanks to Mary and the SBL operators. Remember, you can watch 24-7 at Starbase Live. Look at it down in the channel. For now, that's your Starbase summary. Thanks for hanging out, and we will see you nerds later.